really believe uh, that uh, the, the it's great to hear the talk that's going on, the discussion here in Chicago. We are out of session right now, waiting to go be called back for to budget to deal with the budget. But I think the most interesting thing is here among Latinos is we're watching what's happening in New York. Uh, the fact that we have a Latino now in power, I think, just uh, speaks volume of what the issue is surrounding New York, where Latinos have not been able to have a strong voice in the legislature, per se. Uh, this gives an opportunity. But more important, I think, the fact that the discussion is, is happening. I think there's so much to be learned from this. I know that here in Chicago, we have, uh, you know, our, our impeachment process with our governor removal from office. But in New York, you guys are really showing us that, you know, politics is well in the line. But I think for Latinos, uh, I think it just really brings us to the forefront and discussion that needs to be, uh, take place, the frustration that has occurred over the years of the politics, you know, where Latinos have not been in power, uh, people making, uh, you know, deals behind doors, and then all of a sudden, you know, uh, they're not living up to the deals. There's a lot of discussion that's going to happen around this case, and we are very, very uh, anxiously waiting to see the results. I think that the courts did the right thing, saying you guys deserve this I mean, results because you created it. And I think that it's just great for the judges to be able to say you have to work it out. Democrats and Republicans have got to work it out because we are the legislature, you know, and we should be able to resolve it for the good of the people. So I'm excited about what I'm hearing. I'm keeping, uh, you know, uh, myself up with all the news going on in New York because for me this is an important uh, aspect about Latino empowerment and what we need to do to really be able to to just organize and say Latinos need to be heard. We cannot be taken for granted. You have got to listen to us and you've got to empower us in a way that we're able to have a discussion.